Season 6 is over, like completely done in 4 days. We're coming up literally so close to the start of Season 7 and I'm extremely hyped. The gifting system is going to be in the game for a couple more days so I'm going to continue to give out some gifts. Look at how many people have sent me friend requests at this point. Literally 5,000 people have sent me friend requests. That is nutty. I can't send gifts to everybody because that's just not the way it works. I can only gift three per day. So what I'm going to continue doing and what I have done up to this point is accept random friend requests. And I'm just going to go send a gift to somebody who is randomly on the gift list. If you guys want to see me keep doing this, the only thing I ask is that you drop a like. Let's get this video up to 2,000 likes. I know we can do it. And also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're getting closer and closer to 400k subs, which would be awesome. So let's start with the lamp. Obviously, you guys know this lamp. It's pretty sick. I uh, showed it off in yesterday's video. But we're going to go down the list and randomly send this to Brackens. Congratulations, Brackens. Hope you like the gift, my man. Next up, we have this skin, which I've seen a lot of mixed reports for. I've seen some people say they think it's terrible, one of the most gross-looking skins in the game. And I've seen a lot of people say it looks pretty cool. And honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I'm going to go ahead and send it as a gift right now to 5 cents right there at the top. Congrats, 5 cents. You just won yourself the Moth Mando. Thanks for supporting the channel, my friend. We have 800 V-Bucks, so I guess we have enough to give away the Flutter Bug, this glider. Honestly, a pretty sick glider. I, I'm going to have to buy this one for myself. So anyway, buy as a gift. Let's go down to right here and we're going to send it to Adventure Gamer 27 Thanks for tuning into the channel, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the gift. There you go. That's all I've got for you today in terms of the gifting. If you want to see more, obviously I'm going to keep doing this until the gifting system is gone. If you want a shot to win, want a shot to be randomly accepted as a friend, make sure to go ahead and send me a friend request, Pineapples YT, and I'll try to continue doing this. Alright man, I want to go check on the iceberg. Apparently it's getting pretty wild, it's getting pretty big. So I'm going to hop on, check it out, where is it? Oh, wow, you can clearly tell that is getting so much closer. Oh my gosh, that is kind of next level. You can see, even without zooming in from a long distance away, you can clearly see the ice particles, the tiny icebergs sitting underneath there right now. Look at that, it's gotten so big that you can't even fully see it from Flush Factory anymore. That is wild. It is literally getting so incredibly big. Something is definitely going to happen in the upcoming days. Like I said, Season 7, four days away at this point. It's only four days away. That is not long at all. So the Ice Storm and the Iceberg have hypothetically got to get here pretty quick. So I'm excited to see what's going on. Definitely drop your theories down below. We all know over there on that Iceberg there is a castle. Or at least what appears to be a, a very small part of a castle. My theory is that the castle is actually completely hidden inside the iceberg. And uh, as it melts, it will reveal more and more of the castle. But recently, the lights have turned on in that castle. So we're not exactly sure if there's anyone or anything living there. And, you know, based on the light turning on when it previously wasn't, it makes me feel like someone is, you know, living on that iceberg so we'll just have to wait and see truthfully I mean just look at this right here this is this is wild it is literally getting so incredibly close this is insane something is pretty much bound to happen and I'm excited I really am like this is bringing back serious nostalgic vibes of season 3 when we were all waiting for the meteor to drop you know it was like the biggest thing up to that point the first of its kind um, and since then, we've had other things like this and uh, the rocket launch, other really cool events. But this, this brings me back, you know, something's getting progressively closer to the island. We know any day something's about to happen. Any day now, any moment, we could be getting Season 7 trailers on social media. And honestly, man, I am so excited about that, too. I would not be surprised if we get one today or maybe even a few hours after I upload this video. Regardless of when I get it or when we get it, I will update you on the channel with a video ASAP. So definitely make sure you are subscribed. Now, one thing that has been going pretty wild and rampant on YouTube, a lot of my videos have done well about it, is this whole theory about Tilted Towers possibly being removed or destroyed from the game in some way. Now, 
just to fill you in if you don't know there's been a leaked line of coding recently that says you know tilted towers uh destroyed and apparently it's in reference to a bunch of robots so the theory the collective theory uh, and at least the most likely one that i can think of would have to be aim you know he is a robot he is the hunting party skin it sure seems like something he would want to do something this robot uh, programmed or not would want to do. So I wonder if possibly AIM's overall goal is to destroy Tilted, and maybe if there's a ton of other robots just like him that are going to come maybe from this iceberg that's coming in and try to destroy Tilted. I don't know. I know a lot of people would be very upset if Tilted were gone. I mean, look at it. It's just so beautiful. Been in the game for a while. It's just a staple of the game at this point. And one thing about Tilted Every season they come and destroy this house. This building got destroyed by uh, the cube. It got destroyed by the meteor. Like, whoever owns that building right there, you really just got to hate your life at some point. Like, what is going on that this building is constantly being repaired and constantly being destroyed and tilted? I don't know. I kind of wonder if this building right here is, in and of itself, another Easter egg that might have been hinting at what was coming to Tilted the whole time, you know what I mean? Uh, this building could never catch a break. It got destroyed in so many different ways, and it's been constantly repaired for the past few seasons, and even now, it's not looking good for it, so... It's definitely possible that Epic Games was teasing the overall demise of Tilted and kind of playing with us for a while, because, you know, Epic did a really trolly thing back when Season 4 just started and the Meteor first crashed, Obviously, everyone thought the meteor was going to be hitting Tilted, and it kind of did. More on that in just a second. But it obviously went over to the divot and made a huge crater there. But there were a couple meteors that hit on other areas of the map, including this building right here in Tilted. So obviously, everyone was suspecting Tilted to get hit by the meteor, and instead of destroying the whole city, it destroyed just this little house right here. So obviously that was a troll from Epic Games. They expected us to expect uh, destruction at Tilted, and technically, I guess you could say a meteor hit Tilted. It just didn't do nearly what we were expecting. So I wouldn't put it past Epic, and honestly, I'd say more than likely, I wouldn't expect to see Tilted go away. But at the same time, I bet it's possible. Knowing Epic Games, anything is. Something else I wanted to show you guys was over here in Tomato Temple, over here in Tomato Temple, for some reason, my game doesn't want to load in the textures on replay mode. But nonetheless, you can see the balloons, and this is this is truth. The Durburger and the Tomato Head trucks have made their way over to Tomato Temple. Uh, they started out their route in Greasy Grove near the Durburger restaurant that got shut down, and now here they are in Tomato Temple. Interestingly enough, they are pretty far apart. You can see the balloons mark where they would be, and they are there. It's just replay mode isn't loading in the textures. I'm not sure why, it's a common bug apparently, where replay isn't loading everything in, especially uh, map changes like this, you know. I wonder if anything's going to happen here, because, you know, they are at, so to say, Tomato Head's home uh, home field here. Literally, there is the, uh, the Tomato Temple. I'm so glad they brought back the Tomato Head, by the way. This thing right here, the Tomato Head, is such an icon of Fortnite. It really, really is, and even though it's not exactly the same, I'm glad it's back in some way. Between the Tomato Head and Durburger feud, the Iceberg, Tilted Towers, and so much more, there's a lot to be excited for and a lot to expect for the upcoming Season 7. I've got a lot of high hopes for it. I feel like it could be the best season Fortnite's put out yet. I'm extremely optimistic about it, right? You know, more than likely we're going to get the gifting system as a permanent feature. Uh, obviously, if you guys want to see me continue to give out gifts, drop a like on this thing. Let me know that's what you're hyped about. But man, honestly, look at this this cloud out here. This cloud and all of the ice. I mean, look at it. It's getting so incredibly big. You can see all the tiny icebergs out there, the, just the ice out there. You can't really see the big iceberg yet because obviously this is kind of covering it up. And Epic were genius, by the way, by making it so... We all thought it was a cloud. We literally just thought it was nothing else but a snowstorm. But the cloud was just covering up the main part of it, which was the iceberg. So I thought that was kind of clever by Epic. Obviously, they uh, know we're going to get hyped about anything. There's no way we would have ever expected an iceberg to be behind that cloud. So well played to Epic. I'm excited to see what happens, man. Drop a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and help me get closer to 400k subs. If you're buying any V-Bucks, I'd really appreciate it if you could use my supporter creator code. It's pineapplesyt. 
and basically it just helps me to keep doing giveaways on the channel. Anything I make from that goes right back into the channel, right back into you guys. I uh, really appreciate the support. I'll keep you updated if anything happens, and I'll see you guys later.